Hi folks, uh, welcome to this Node.js Everyday dot com and Node.js Everyday YouTube channel. Uh, I'm here with you for part four of Mocha Cha unit testing in Node.js or Mocha Cha unit testing in Node.js. I'm Isha Prasad and thanks for joining. Let's jump in. So in this tutorial, we'll try and see how we can uh, initialize our test case before we run our unit tests so I have created a project uh, which has a skeleton of only a package.json file so the package.json file has only a couple of dependencies so that's chai and mocha and but what we're gonna do is add a file called as in uh, index.js or probably okay here's a business scenario say for example uh, there's a web page so and there's an array that stores data that gets fed from the web page and this array for every session has to be a new one so say for example there's a website wherein the students who are interested for an annual day event games event should go participate in this games uh, specific games so the students gonna go open the website and register their names so for every in every single session the array of the student names that's gonna be there should be an empty array so what we're gonna do is probably we're gonna rename this and say this is games dot js so we're gonna Straight. create a class save student to game okay and it has a constructor to start array is equals to an empty array and this uh, and student function that takes a name I'm sorry uh oh this dot array dot push name and then that returns to this done array let's go export this oh, sorry let's go export this class uh, Sorry, new new of save student. So now we're gonna write a test case for this. So as you know in Mocha, any file that stats that has the name tests or any folder that has the name test is considered as a test folder in Mocha. So we're gonna, this is all written in ESX, so that's more comfortable uh, and so what did I do is I updated my node and npm uh -oh, node and npm version 3 so starting from node 4 there are few ESX properties and node 6 has the has a good number of ESX properties like a uh, const to let arrow functions or fat arrow functions whatever you name them then classes etc etc so I'm gonna use that so const I need to require that games game require
games. Okay. And then I need chai require chai and expect of chai if you are not sure what these are I would uh, recommend you go watch the previous three videos that I've done and our global chai dot should so that we get all the properties of should available in this class and let's describe uh, oh, oh. test case should add student name to the uh, and that's and it should return the current student Added. These are all uh, shorthand forms of functions, the anonymous function type. So, for the callbacks, I am defining them as anonymous functions uh, using the fat arrow notation of ES6. So, I'll say game <coughs> dot add student expects a name. Let's give my own name dot should dot e q u a l equal equal to what an array with names with name prasad okay now let's uh, let's go quickly npm test it should run the mocha chai it says failed that's wonderful so the error message it says is assertion failed uh, expected array of prasad to equal to array of prasad oh my god uh, what do you mean this so i wanted to have written this piece of code so that you'll get to understand that arrays Comparison of two arrays in Mocha is I'm sorry for that. So would never be able to compare it because the assertion libraries should and equal are of type objects and whenever you run them they are of type new object. So the return of the function the return of the class is a different object from the object that you are expecting in the equal statement so the object the array prasad is e not equals to the array prasad that you have mentioned in your equal and that's obvious so for this error to pass what we have to do is to write something that's game dot add student of name prasad dot should dot deep dot equal I'm sorry uh oh, oh, oh dot e q u a l equal an array that has an element called prasad and now let's get back and run that's wonderful so as you can see this has failed uh, now the test case has passed now oh, this comes up now and then I have a Windows machine that's that's of a configuration with four probably 8 GB I'm not that sure oh, I think it's 8 GB so this comes up now and then even now so that's how you test an array now let's 
say that someone has come up and has added another student in another block okay for the name Isher so if I add the name Isher it should return an array that has only Isher in it and now when I let me clear this and now when I run this you can use npm test or just a mocha where mocha is the global dependency that we have installed using npm install minus g mocha and the assertion error that we have here is expected prasad and issuer to be deep equal to issuer so you see here the array say that it has it has only an element it's expected to have only an element called issuer but it also has prasad and that's lacking in the actual so how do i get rid of this so here it is we need a bdd style of writing our code and this bdd style of code has a wonderful wonderful function out there that's called before each and what we do is game dot array is equal to empty let's run it awesome so we have reinitialized the array every time now let's write another couple of them again okay here let's name it one they're just strings it doesn't really matter okay now let's run that you would see that the test cases that are appended prepended with one have failed as you can see as we scroll up this has failed because it says the same kind of an error so the before each that we have put here has not worked so we have to copy paste them put them here again and uh, rerun mocha now they pass now what can i do now we can define before each as a global function and remove this and run that again so you'll see that it has passed awesome that's fantastic so in this session you have learned how to use before reach and after R we can use after each as well that's a function say you need to add something to the array once you're done it done with it I can say game dot array dot push I'll say mocha so every time it runs I need to add mocha let's run it uh, okay 